Welcome to our channel, viewers. Today, we'll discuss about RBI Fines Bank of America N.A., HDFC Bank. RBI Fines Bank of America N.A., HDFC Bank, a saga of noncompliance and regulatory action. On Thursday, a seemingly innocuous press release from the Reserve Bank of India, RBI, dropped a small bombshell in the Indian financial landscape. The RBI announced penalties of Rs. 10,000 each on HDFC Bank, a behemoth in the private banking sector, and Bank of America N.A., a global financial titan for violating specific regulatory norms. While the nominal sum might seem trivial, the implications of this action extend far beyond the monetary penalty itself. It serves as a stark reminder of the importance of regulatory compliance, even for the biggest players in the game. Unpacking the violations, the RBI's statement revealed distinct violations by each bank. 1. Bank of America, the American giant, was found to have breached reporting requirements under the Liberalized Remittance Scheme of the Foreign Exchange Management Act, FEMA, 1999. 2. This scheme dictates the framework for overseas remittances, and Bank of America's lapse in reporting adherence raises questions about potential discrepancies or inconsistencies in their remittance activities. The HDFC Bank, the Indian private sector leader, was penalized for violating the RBI's directives on accepting deposits from non-residents. 4. This regulation aims to safeguard the domestic financial system from potential imbalances or manipulation arising from irregular foreign inflows. HDFC Bank's non-compliance raises concerns about their due diligence processes and adherence to established norms. Beyond the fine print. While the quantum of the penalty might appear insignificant, it's crucial to understand the bigger picture. This action by the RBI signifies its unwavering commitment to upholding regulatory integrity and deterring future transgressions. It sends a clear message that no institution, domestic or international, is above the law. For Bank of America, the reputational damage might be more significant than the meager fine. The violation casts a shadow on their commitment to regulatory compliance in international markets, potentially impacting investor confidence and future business opportunities. For HDFC Bank, the domestic leader, the penalty could dent public trust and raise questions about their internal control mechanisms. It might also embolden competitors to capitalize on this perceived lapse in HDFC Bank's adherence to regulations. Potential Domino Effect the RBI's action against these two prominent banks could trigger a ripple effect across the financial industry. It's likely to prompt other banks and financial institutions to reevaluate their internal compliance procedures and ensure stricter adherence to regulatory norms. This increased scrutiny might lead to the identification and rectification of further discrepancies, ultimately strengthening the overall regulatory framework and promoting a more transparent and accountable financial ecosystem. The road ahead, the RBI's move serves as a turning point, urging both domestic and international banks to introspect and prioritize regulatory compliance. It's imperative for these institutions to, one, invest in robust compliance infrastructure. This includes establishing clear policies, conducting regular internal audits, and fostering a culture of ethical and responsible banking. Two, enhance communication and transparency. Banks must maintain clear and open communication with the RBI, promptly reporting any potential deviations or concerns. Three, embrace technology-driven solutions. Leveraging automation and data analytics can streamline compliance processes, enabling early detection and mitigation of potential risks. Conclusion, the RBI's action against Bank of America and HDFC Bank might seem like a minor blip on the financial radar. However, its significance lies in the message it conveys. It's a firm reminder that regulatory compliance is not a mere formality. It's the bedrock of a stable and trustworthy financial system. As India's financial landscape continues to evolve, the onus lies on all stakeholders, regulators, and institutions alike to work collaboratively towards fostering an environment of responsible banking and unwavering adherence to the established norms. Only then can India truly unlock its full financial potential and secure a brighter economic future. Thanks for watching.